Mobile sports games continue to trend upwards with almost all of the big game companies competing. So in this video, I'm going to list the top 10 sports games for Android and iOS. Some of these top games will not be a surprise to you, but then there are a few that so far have stayed a secret. The first game on the list is PES 2021. This will not be a surprise to many of you. Soccer is the biggest game in the world, so naturally it also has one of the biggest followings in gaming. Now some might be surprised to see that FIFA 2021 is not on the list, but that is because even though it has great graphics and menus, it cannot measure up to PES's gameplay which is ultimately the most important thing about a sports game. PES 2021 is renowned for its great graphics, enhanced dribble controls, and their option for local and real-time online matches. What a lot of people love about this game is it takes eSports seriously, even on the mobile phone. The second game is Motorball. This will probably be a surprise because most people have not heard about this game, and that is because it is technically not released yet. There are beta programs for both Android and iOS, but the official release date is not until August 6. When it does get released though, it will be a big hit because the game is basically Rocket League designed for the phone. It is simple, fun, and addicting, and it will be a big hit in mobile gaming. The third game is Grand Mountain Adventure. This game will also be a surprise and many of you will wonder why it's listed above some of the other games I haven't yet mentioned. But the reason is because this game is amazingly well done and offers something unique to the gaming world. I personally don't even like calming adventure games, but watching even just 5 seconds of this game calms me and I just want to watch more. Which is crazy impressive, but the people that play this game are even more impressed. In fact, you will be hard pressed to find a list of top sports games that doesn't have this game on their list. The fourth game is NBA 2K21. This game is made by 2K Games, which has been the leader in basketball games for over two decades. And it is clear that they have put the same amount of time and effort into making this game worthy of the franchise. It has amazing graphics, updated rosters, and most importantly, a really good career mode. They have also done a really good job of implementing good dribbling and shooting mechanics into the game in a way that feels natural on the mobile phone. The fifth game is New Star Soccer Manager. Sadly, this game is only available on iOS, which would normally prevent a game from making it to this list, but they did such a fantastic job, I had to put it on here. The developers did an amazing job of creating a game of managing a soccer team in which you have to balance between keeping your fans, sponsors, and board happy while simultaneously trying to get the attention of the press. This is so fun and addicting that the fun of actually playing the soccer games feels like just a bonus. The sixth game is Phi Swordplay. This is another game with fun game mechanics, but it is also strangely educational. All of the techniques used in the tournaments in the game are set up like actual professional fencing. So not only is the game fun, but you get to learn about actual fencing. And then once you get good at the mechanics in single player, you can advance to playing against other players online. So while this game probably won't be that game that has you playing for hundreds hundreds of hours, I think this is a game that everyone should try because you will have a lot of fun for a few hours and then when you do quit, you will leave with a greater understanding of how fencing works. Which even though that probably won't come up in conversation often, when it does, it will feel really good. Seventh on the list is Madden NFL 21. Like NBA 2K21, this game is made by the industry leader and they have done a fantastic job. It has all the things that you would expect from a Madden game like great graphics, good game mechanics, updates rosters, but there are also a few things that they added that I was not expecting. For example, they added all of the game modes that you would see in the PC or mobile games. And they added co-op to career mode so that you can jump in and help a friend in their career. Which that may not seem like a big deal to a PC or console gamer, but the integration involved to letting another device jump in on your career for one game of a series and that not messing anything up sounds new and exciting to me. Regardless, if you want to play North America American football on mobile, you need to play this game. The eighth game is Skateboard Party 3. I'm gonna be honest, I'm not really into skateboarding games, so this game is not on here because I enjoyed the game. Rather, this is on here because it is a very well done skateboarding game. The graphics are obviously not anything like the NFL or NBA games, but they are the best graphics out there for a skateboard game, and the game mechanics for a skateboard game are also the best. So if you wanna relax and get good at hitting buttons at the right time to create the most amazing tricks out there, this is the game for you. The ninth game is MLB 9 Innings 21. 
which for me is similar to the skateboarding game. If I were going to play baseball as a video game, then I definitely think the mobile phone is the best place to do it, but it doesn't have a great appeal for me. That being said, for those of you that it does, this is the best baseball game out there. It has great graphics and awesome game mechanics that give you a real challenge. One of the things that's impressive is it feels like they really captured the concept of a pitcher versus a batter as you hone your skills and try to hit the ball. And then of course it has a great career mode, which is important for any sports game like this. The last game on the list is Boxing Star. This game made it on the list because of great reviews, fun gameplay, and entertaining animations. If you like the feel of beating someone up without the remorse of giving them actual bruises, this is the game for you. It has a great single player mode in which you get advanced and fighting harder and harder bosses. And then it also has a really good multiplayer mode in which you can play with your friends or random opponents. It is the most highly rated boxing game out there and I would recommend it for anyone that finds fake violence therapeutic. So that is the top 10 sports games of 2021. But in addition to these 10, I have three more that I wanted to mention. But before I get into those, two weeks ago I had an interview with the former international president of Activision and like only 2,000 people watched it, which I don't know. I don't know if you guys thought that was clickbait or not, but it wasn't. I actually interviewed the former Activision president and that interview was amazing. And in fact, that video is probably the most interesting video on my channel. So if you thought it was clickbait or if you thought it was like a play on words, it wasn't. You really got to go check out that video because it will blow your mind. Okay, so back to the three extra games that I wanted to mention. Touch Grind BMX 2 is a fantastic game that almost made it to this list, but it just barely got edged out. The game consists of doing all kinds of tricks with your bicycle, which unlocks more points so that you can upgrade to better bikes or get cooler skins for them. This game is renowned for being highly addictive, and like I said, it almost made the list. Another game that was a contender that did not make it on the list is Headball 2. The reason it did not make it on the list however is not because it is not fun or didn't have good graphics but rather because I'm not 100% sure that it is a sport. It is listed as a sports game, but I'm not convinced that it is. It is definitely a game with competition and looks like a lot of fun, but by that definition, a lot of games are sports that are definitely not sports games. So I highly recommend this game because a lot of people are having a lot of fun with it, but I couldn't put it on the list because it just didn't seem sports-like enough. But I go back and forth on whether or not this is a sports game. That being said, a game that I do not go back and forth on is Kick Hero. This game is listed as a sports game because it includes kicking a soccer ball, but there is nothing about this game that is actually a sports game. Rather, it is a hilarious arcade game that is wildly addicting and extremely therapeutic. So while I do recommend this game, I am adamantly opposed to calling it a sports game. Well, that's it guys. I normally do a lot of tutorials, but it seems like you guys are liking these top 10 game videos because they're exploding. And these videos are a lot of fun to make because I get to research a lot of games. So I plan to make quite a few more of these types of videos over the next couple months. While you are waiting for that, make sure to check out this playlist of my other top 10 game videos if you haven't already. Alright guys, I'll see you next time.